Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Becca if you're new here. If not, hello again. Today we're just gonna get some stuff done around the house. It's not gonna be done yet because we're still waiting for some pieces. For example, a rug that I think will tie everything together beautifully. We just have a few projects that I wanna get all done and so I figured why not just do it together. <laughs> There's nothing better than watching other people do work while you sit and watch it on YouTube. So let's get to it. Back to the orangest lights in the world. Here, maybe if I stand by the window, it'll be better. Guy was asking if I do 75. No, don't say no yet. Just say, tell the person who's asking for 140. Getting all of your furniture secondhand is a funny thing because <laughs> it can seem really expensive still. Like a dresser is $300 and you can get a table for like 250. But if you're patient enough and you can afford to wait, you can oftentimes get things for free <laughs> or like so cheap. But you also have to be like, very diligent about scrolling on Facebook Marketplace all the time. So it's not ideal, but also you just have to realize that you don't have to do it for that long. Like when you move into a new place, you're gonna be doing it for like a month and it's almost like a full-time thing because you have to constantly be scrolling and then you have to snatch things up immediately. Like this Ikea toy storage thing, for example, they're like $110 new at Ikea, which is not horrible. And we contemplated just going and getting one. However, I knew that they popped up on Facebook Marketplace all the time. And we've tried for a few. And a lot of times people will ghost you or whatever. If you don't get there fast enough, they sell it to whoever actually shows up first. It's fine. This one I saw, I was swinging on the hammock, scrolling Look Facebook that. Marketplace. Oh, thank you. I'm getting um little stickers. Anyways, I saw that this one was posted nine minutes previously and it was for free and so i was like probably message them right now we're coming <laughs> so we got it for free which is amazing and we had to drive up to the north shore so you know it's like a 30 minute drive however oh god the lighting is horrible in this house so it takes up a lot of our time and mental energy this dresser which is housing all of our clothes all four of us <laughs> we got that for free and this bed the bed frame we got for free from facebook marketplace the mattress we bought new the blanket is from costco and we, that's actually our old pillow but um so yeah this is free i mean it's not perfect there's these little <laughs> my little pony stickers on there so i'm gonna scrub that and get them off and yeah we just bought those bins from ikea and it looks amazing and then we're actually oh hello hi you see this dangly strap <laughs> We're actually going to move this rug into his room when our rug that we bought comes in. And then there's just a few other things, like I wanna get some things for the walls and some other cute fun decor to make it actually feel like a cozy little room in here. I also want some twinkle lights to go up along that wooden beam. <laughs> and a lamp. This room's getting close and it's funny because this is like the only room that feels close <laughs> to being done. For the money that we spent for this room, I think was like $200 for the mattress, so. And then a couple dollars for the bins. That's the kids room. <laughs> the next item of business, we bought this really cute table from Facebook Marketplace and I love it. We both love it so much. But after we got it, we realized that it's cracking. I don't know if these cracks were originally there when the guy made the table, because he made it himself, he said, and whatever. But we're scared, because if you wobble it, it looks like it's going to crack more. So Billy did a little bit of research, and he decided that he's going to fill the cracks with epoxy. So he actually did one little baby crack. Here, I'll show you. This is the underside, so it doesn't really matter. We'll show the top a little Oh, that's tape. <laughs> So that's filled with epoxy. Yeah, there's this big crack along here and then this one. So we're gonna fill these because if you wobble it, it looks like it's gonna keep cracking and eventually completely break. So Billy's on the job here. Mm, broke it. I feel like epoxy is one of those things that once you do it once, you get addicted to doing it. You know, all of those epoxy pouring things on like TikTok and Instagram that go viral because people just sit and watch it because it's therapeutic. Yeah, Billy filled that one crack and he's like, oh, I love doing this. He's like, what else can I epoxy? <laughs> Nothing. I've never watched an epoxy video. told you this is gonna be just a video of me getting stuff done around the house i've had this little let me just pick him out of the water this little guy propagating 
we stole them from our Airbnb. We took like the tiniest little cutting and I've just been, yeah, propagating him in some water, but he has a little bud, so I'm gonna plant him and hope he does well. It's this kind of plant. I don't know, I call it a medallion plant. I'll, I'll put up the real thing here. <laughs> uh, no. No more. We'll get more. More. I did that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Woohoo, another scoop. My job got taken from me. Oh, nice. Let's see. One more scoop. Last one. Woo. Okay. Now we're going to plant this little guy right in here. Now we're done. <laughs> okay, so this is how our kitchen is at the moment. And I have visions for this place. So it's not horrible. There, Those are blue counters. And then this is like, she told me it's a pick and stick, pick and steel? No, what's that called? Peel and stick. That's <laughs> what I'm going for. So she put that on. We have a dishwasher that we've been using and it's kind of life-changing, I love it. But it's gonna be nice because I'm imagining like a coffee nook. So then the espresso machine is gonna be out of here and then the blender will go into that corner and then those, there's just gonna be so much more space. And then there's just things in here that collect. Like this should not be in the kitchen, it should be by the front door. However, we don't have anything set up at the front door yet and so it is just collecting here. These eventually, I don't think I want them up here. They're a little, unsightly even though they're convenient and the, so with the coffee nook all of this tea stuff is going to go over there as well and then like i had in new zealand i'm going to get those really cute canisters and then all of our kind of dry storage is going to be up there so this magnetic knife strip is actually so nice i love it and then we have our windowsill usually there's bananas in that that's why it's empty. Look at their garden. I mean, this is not an ounce from me. <laughs> They're on a trip right now. And she's like, pick everything. I have too much. I'm swimming in tomatoes. So uh, William went out and picked every single one of these tomatoes. It's incredible. And then over here, I'm going to pull out my salt pig. It's going to be cute. Eventually, I want like a little oil canister. One of those cute oil things. I don't remember what they're called. We just had lunch, so disregard the mess. Anyways, there's not a whole lot I can do over here, but yeah, that's our kitchen. I actually kind of like the look of these floors. They're incredibly hard to clean, but whatever. This little guy has been on a journey. Brought him all the way from New Zealand. Carried him on our backs, but totally worth it. Okay, so this is our little dining area. It has made some very large improvements. Having this little coffee nook just makes me so incredibly happy. Eventually I want like a really long viney plant that kind of crawls all up the brick wall, but oh, it's just so nice. One, because it looks so cute and cozy, but also because it has so much good storage in it. Like this is our tea drawer. It has all of our fun little teas which I need to get more of. And this is the coffee, like paraphernalia. Oh, that should be in there. And then this is like all the preschool craft supplies. And then that's actually all of our vacuum stuff. So I uh, just hide our Dyson in here. That's incredibly nice. Random fact, our floor is super sloped right here. So we have to lift everything up with blocks and cardboard and stuff. But this is another beautiful little section. I'll come around, let's see. Yeah, Billy saw this desk and he was like, I really want it. And I was like, we don't even need a desk. And now we have it and I love it. I obviously want to get like more plants and fun stuff for up there. But he, I mean, we'll both sit here and work on stuff. But he also uses it to practice. So like his horn is back here and then his music stand. So yeah, this table, I sent Billy the link for this table. And I was like, I don't know if I love it. I'm just kind of looking at it. 
Here's the link, you can look at it too. And he reached out and they said it was still available. And next thing I know, he's like, okay, we're gonna get it. And I was like, first of all, he didn't try to barter down for the price at all. <laughs> so we paid $100 for the table and then he brought it in and we're both like, we don't love it. And the lady was like, yeah, this table is like 15 years old from Ikea. And I'm just like, that should have been like $15. If it was $15, I think it would have been a great table and I would love it more. But you know, I am I just don't like it. Everything in our house is the like darker old wood look and feel. And this just isn't it. Like I like the round fact of it, but the friend that actually sold us this desk is selling us a table that looks really good. We're gonna try to sell this table for the same price that we got it at. So then we don't feel like we are very stupid. We are very stupid, but at least we won't feel like we're losing money. <laughs> and then we can go and buy our friend's table and I think we will love it a lot more. Oh, look at this cute little baby. <laughs> Here's another thing that just makes me stupid happy even though it shouldn't. It's just these little placemats make it look so much cuter. Anyways, that's it for our kitchen right now. I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna try to get that table. I'm also thinking of getting a big black rug to put under this table here. We'll see, I don't know. The convenience of just wiping up food when it's dropped is so great, but it'll just make it cozier and quieter and, okay, I gotta go. Uh, there's our mattress. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. <laughs> oh, no. I, I hope so. I had something so ridiculous. My um, my glasses broke, but I keep using them anyway. Anyways, <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, we just got our new mattress. It's from IKEA. I don't know. Billy just got it, so we'll see. I can't look at myself without. Lo okay, we got a mattress protector, and then we actually got some like really nice sheets from somebody that was moving out of the country. So washed those up and now we have a bed kind of we don't have a bed frame i want like a platform bed so it's not that high off the ground so if kids fall out of it it's less of a big deal we're also going to go and pick up some new chairs for our new dining table <sighs> so much to do <laughs> i tried to help him but i just said i was oh no <laughs> We're gonna destroy everything. We just got so much <laughs> and all at one time. So we just got some new chairs for a new table. This is our rug and our mattress. Oh, that looks so nice. I like that much better. Mmm, not too shabby. Now, what, do you, what would you think about a big black rug? That'd be too dark. We also need wall stuff. One step at a time. Oh, okay, I'm nervous. I'm not gonna like it. I should know. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, the shark's gonna eat them. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't know what you're gonna think. I don't know what I'm gonna think either. Okay. Okay, I I can't help myself. <laughs> We're just gonna do one final little like very quick walkthrough tour now that everything is in place. <sighs> the way that I have visualized. I'm very happy with it. We still have a few things that I'm looking forward to getting. Just like wall stuff and like posters and that kind of thing. And then I also want a bunch of lamps throughout here because it is a basement and it's dark and I just think that nice like ambient lighting will be beautiful. Anyways. So you walk in. I don't know if the couch should go over there. So I think we're gonna have a table. I'm imagining this really cute kind of dresser thing or shelf thing, and it will be like the coffee station. Um, here's all of our junk. And then bedroom, bedroom, so. So here's the living room, all done. <laughs> there's Billy's pride and joy. 
he learned some things. He made some mistakes, but you know what? It looks fine. And the more important thing is it's very stable now. So if William's jumping on it, it doesn't look like it's about to crack it down. <laughs> Don't look at the bottom. So yeah, like I said, I want to get a few more things. Just some kind of like wall art to make it more us. Maybe some throw pillows with like blue in it. And then walking through here. Dun da da da. Not too shabby. Uh, it's just so nice to look at, especially thinking where we started from. The coffee nug makes me so happy. Like I said, I want another plant that like vines its way up the brick. I want some more cute little coffee mugs. I want some cute wall hanging art things. Ah, it's just so cute. I love it. And then the kitchen. Yeah, still some more work to do in here. Like I said, the canisters and I want to figure out what to do with that, but pretty happy. Wow. The difference light bulbs can make. <laughs> so back to William's room. It's just so much cuter. It's like fun being in here, especially with how cozy the rug and the bed is and all his toys are so organized. So yeah, pretty happy with this room. Like I said, a lot more wall art to be had, but, and then this is our room. <laughs> It's just a giant king size bed in this itty bitty room. I don't think there's much saving this room. I don't know. I'm gonna get a couple nightstands for functionality, some lamps. We'll put some stuff up on the wall, but yeah, there's there's literally no room in this room for much else. So this is our house where it is. I'm very happy with it. It feels very homey and comfortable in here, which is the whole point. And we we did this, I feel pretty fast. We went pretty hard going and collecting all these different things. We've added it all up and it comes right under $3,000 for everything that we bought. And that's like all of our furniture, which we could have done better. We could have done way worse. <laughs> so, I mean, we could have gotten one couch that was more than that. So. I'm, I'm very happy with that also. This is all the stuff that I had on like my stress list. Like I wanted to get it because it improves the quality of our life, like a kitchen table or the couch and that kind of thing. Whereas now all the rest of the stuff that I'm looking to get is just the fun stuff. It will come with time. Like I'm not gonna stress out about it. And it's just the stuff that kind of makes it even more fun and more homey. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy we have like a home. It feels, it's starting to feel like a home now. So it's good, we're getting there. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week, bye.